We're back with complete coverage of the collapse that happened at 3.30 at Valley Ranch while the Cowboys were on the field. Their bubble that covers their practice facility came tumbling down upon them while 60 to 65 miles per hour winds were ripping through. We now go live to our Selena Hernandez who is live just after a press conference that just wrapped up. Selena? We're live inside Valley Ranch where a press conference just wrapped up a moment ago. Irving Fire Chief Rich Rusty Wilson uh, couldn't go into details about the collapse that happened around 327 other than to say about 12 people were injured trapped underneath some of that debris. A few of those individuals were seriously injured. Now among those individuals trapped underneath that debris was Tim McMahon. Tim, you're a writer with the Dallas Mornings. You were there. Uh, walk us through that surreal experience that you encountered earlier this afternoon. Well, uh, fortunately, I wasn't really trapped under the debris. I got hit with some things, but was able to was able to get on my feet and get out of there pretty quickly. But obviously, uh, it was extremely windy. The, the rain was coming down hard, and then the wall started to shake a little bit. And nobody thought much of that at, at that time. It was when the lights on uh, on the ceiling started to sway back and forth and flicker a little bit that I think people realized that this was a severe weather situation. Uh, people looked up there. And very quickly after that, the complex just started, uh, you know, basically imploding. Uh, it, was, it was a mad dash for the exit. Um, and, and quite frankly, everything for a few seconds there is pretty foggy to me. Uh, you know, I, I ended up in a kind of a pile of debris and, you know, and, and people scrambled to my feet. My next clear memory is one of the assistant coaches screaming for somebody to call 911. So that was the first thing that I did. And what's going through your mind during this entire time? Uh, it was a terrifying experience. You know, as soon as I got to my feet, like I said, I called 911, and I'm just hoping that everybody's okay. You know, the, the people that I work with, the players and the coaches. Uh, I mean, it, it's amazing that nobody, you know, nobody w w died in that incident. I mean, a whole building just collapsed. There are 70 people in there. Like I said, I understand there are some people that seriously injured, but. We're very fortunate that, uh, that, that there wasn't a fatality in that. Tim, in speaking to other individuals and to yourself earlier, I understand that a lot of people were trying to force the door open, but they had a problem doing so. Explain to us what happened. Well, I was kind of in the, in the middle of a, of a pack there, but from, from what I'm told by the people who were up front, there's a double door there that's kind of the main door to get in and out, and a porta potty was blown into it and blocked off one of the doors. So essentially, it's a bunch of people trying to squeeze through one little door and then the thing, at this point, it's, the complex is just really shaking violently. Next thing we know, the, uh, the door collapsed. And like I said, my next clear memory is scrambling out of that and running the call 911. About how long did it take you, Tim, to get out of the facility and out of that debris? Uh, I don't think it was very long. I'd just be guessing. You know, it, it, it wasn't a minute. I would just be guessing as far as the time. Okay, Tim, thank you so very much for your time. We're so happy that you made it out safely. Again, live at Valley Ranch, where uh, this is the only press conference we're told that will happen today. Uh, fire Chief, uh, what the Irving Fire Department tells us, that again, 12 people were injured too seriously. This is a fluid situation. We'll continue to keep you posted. Reporting live at Valley Ranch, Selena Hernandez, CBS 11 News. Thanks so much, Selena. Again, a dozen people injured, including serious injuries to Cowboys coaching staff. We will have the very latest coming up. There was a storm that was passing through. Severe weather continues to pass through North Texas.